So I'm Chuck Sanders, and I'm a professor of biochemistry at Vanderbilt University. And I'm also right now the president of the Protein Society. Most of the substance of life is made out of proteins. Almost everything that happens in life happens because there's a protein or set of proteins uh, that work together to make that life process happen. Now, there are exceptions. So DNA, for example, is the genetic code, the blueprint that encodes the protein. So anytime you have a blueprint, if you're building a building, you've got a blueprint, you need someone to read the blueprint and build the building. So who does that? It turns out that RNA is the reader of the DNA blueprint. So um, RNA reads the DNA blueprint and then RNA works with proteins to make protein. So one thing that happens uh, when proteins cause disease is that the protein gets modified by a genetic mutation. So it's no longer the usual protein. It's a slightly modified version of your protein. And that can do a number of bad things to proteins. So proteins are long chains of amino acids, and they have to fold up in a very particular way in order to be able to do their job. So one of the things that happens when you get a disease mutation in a protein is the protein doesn't fold properly. If it can't fold properly, it can't do its job. So if you study proteins, uh, you're basically problem solving or solving puzzles for a living for the rest of your life, as long as you're doing this career, because there's always something new, a new puzzle that needs to be solved.